Hey, I'm Jim, Telegram on Instagram, and today we're going to talk about the configuration and recommendations for the GHL Doser 2.1. Let's get into it. First, I am a number chaser. What? You chase numbers? Yes, I chase numbers. I think numbers, parameters, whatever, are super important for your reef tank. There are targets, right? There's this band of acceptability, and somewhere in here is where you want to be. Uh, sometimes I transition up and out of this band a little bit like a sine wave. Not like those DC pumps that they call sine wave, because I don't get that. That's DC, that's flatline, but whatever. Sometimes you get out of your, your, your band of acceptability. Chasing numbers, knowing numbers, knowing your targets gives you a goal, right? It gives you, it gives you a place to start. It gives you an understanding of where you are with relation to where you want to be. So you test, right? You test and you test and you test. You understand your parameters. Now you want to dose. Consider the GHL 2.1 doser. GHL offers a standalone and a slave model. The standalone doesn't require a controller, it can operate independently. I have the slave, so it works in conjunction with my Prophylux 4. I found the doser to be very precise. When I initially set it up, I calibrated it. I gave it a week, I let it run, I let it do what it's going to do, then I recalibrated it. I think that's an important step because you can calibrate it the first time, but your tubing is brand new. The tubing inside that peristaltic head is brand new. As you use it, the tubing breaks in and your dose may change. If you want a really precise dose, consider recalibrating the pump after about a week's worth of use. And then you could verify it every month or two just to make sure that you're still getting the dose that you expect. We're gonna walk through a little bit of the configuration here on uh, lanthanum chloride. From within the GHL Connect app, you can access the uh, dosing pumps. In my case, I connect through the Prophylux 4 to get to the pumps. This is pump one. This is a really small dose, so it was important to uh, calibrate the pump a couple times just to make sure that the calibration was perfect. Here I'm setting the container low level alarm at 50 milliliters. The Prophylux 4 will alarm, letting me know it's time to refill the container. This container is still at 97% full. I think the little blonde kid's going to be out of college, married, and have children by the time this thing empties. I'm dosing once per day at 0.3 milliliters at 5 a.m. every day. I mentioned it before, but I really appreciate the slow speed precision of this pump. So took a look at the schedule. We set that alarm minimum. Hit save, and now the changes are uploaded to the P4 and the doser. It's all set. Uh, so I could walk you through the, the procedure for all four pumps, but you'd be bored out of your mind and you'd wander off. Just know that the procedure is identical for all four pumps. You, you need to set it up based on your dosing needs and what you're dosing from each particular pump head. But just understand that, that you can set the container size. You can set the low level, a calculated low level alarm point to let you know when to refill. When you do refill, you hit a button in GHL Connect that tells the pump that you have refilled the container. So now it knows you're ready to go. Uh, make sure you record your values. So there's a little slider. If you click that little slider to record values, then you can look back and see how much was dosed over time and then another one is whether or not the, the pump uh, empties a container as if you're dosing from a container to the tank or if the pump is filling a container like you're using the pump for automated water changes. That one's important to note. Just know for dosing, you're emptying a container. So set that. Uh, I think that's it. Very happy with a pump. I would totally buy another one. In fact, I'm stalking a used one right now. All right, so let's get into some uh, some dosing recommendations. The pump ships with tubing nozzle connectors. You can also buy them from Bulk Reef Supply, GHL branded. But those little nozzles, those little those little unions, uh, let you connect quarter inch uh, poly tubing to the tubing that runs through the peristaltic head on the GHL doser. Those things are cool because it does let you exchange from smaller to larger sizes. Uh, worth noting is peristaltic pumps are sensitive to connections, right? So the fewer connections on a peristaltic pump, 
the less opportunity there is for leakage. That puts you in a position where you, the tubing may not be pretty as it's as it as it runs from the pump to the tank. Now you can you can add whoop you can, you can add push connect like these and and really make it look nice. But every single little connection point, every union is an opportunity to leak or pull in air. And if you pull in air on the suction side of a peristaltic pump, you run the risk of negatively impacting your dose accuracy. So it's just something to be aware of. Totally do it, right? If you if you want it to look nice, this is absolutely an option. It's just just understand the risk by adding more connections. You are are increasing your risk for leak or um, dose inaccuracy. Keep that in mind. Uh, make the runs from the pump suction side from your from your dosing container to the pump head. Make those runs as short as possible. The shorter to the tubing the more accurate the dose will be. Uh, outlet ones, it really doesn't matter all that much. So from the pump to your tank, that run can be, uh, it can be as long as you want it to be. But if if you're dosing something that's in suspension, like, a, uh, like an amino that requires shaking or mixing before use, understand that that suspension is gonna settle out in the fluid. So again, a shorter run is better in that respect. What else? Take your time. Set it up. Understand the settings. Calibrate it a couple times. Become familiar with the settings. You'll find that the, the user interface in a GHL Connect app is simple enough. If you get stuck, the manual is super helpful. If you're not down for reading a book, that's cool. Hit me up. If I don't know the answer, I know where to, where to send you. Uh, that doser's been running for about three weeks. It's fantastic. Hasn't tripped up once. The dose is solid. The dose is consistent and recalibration has proved that it's accurate. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. Feel free to send me a, a, a direct message on Instagram. I'd be more than happy. Comment below if you have any questions and I will do my best to address. That's it. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate the comments and the DMs related to the content I create, recommendations for future stuff. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, please do so. It's Telegram. That's where the majority of my crazy happens. Thank you to Vinny at GHL for giving me the opportunity to continue to explore this equipment. It's a whole lot of fun, and I've learned a lot. Uh, happy reefing, and be kind, everyone. Thanks. I probably should have sold some Montes today. That's probably what I should have done. I got too many Montes. I got to get rid of that 20 gallon. Oh, I got to fill up calcium. It's getting a little low. Hi, everyone. <laughs>